Hi, my name's Luke with harmonica.com, and even if today is your first day playing the harmonica, I'm gonna teach you five stupidly simple riffs guaranteed to impress your friends. But I don't know how to bend yet. Bend is a four letter word. No problem, bro. But I can't even play single note. Don't worry, I got you. But I don't even have a harmonica. <laughs> well, you will need a harmonica with 10 holes in the key of C. But if you've got one, then I'm gonna show you how to impress your friends, starting with do wa diddy. Do wa what? That's diddy. You know what I'm saying? Right. Do a ditty. And here's Paul Jones in Nodding Hand in 2009 shredding a mean version of this song on the harmonica. In case you don't know, Paul Jones was the lead singer for the Manfred Mann Band, which made this song an international hit in 1964. And the cool thing about this song is that we literally can just say the words into the harmonica. We're gonna start by inhaling on holes one, two, and three and saying do a ditty like this. Do a ditty. Let's find holes numbers one, two, and three as we breathe in. And say do a ditty. And then we're gonna say diddy one more time. So it's do wa diddy diddy. Then we're gonna blow on holes one, two, and three and say dumb diddy. No offense, diddy. Oh! Okay, actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna change it from dumb with an M to done with an N. Done diddy. That's why I love you. And maybe we'll make our mouths a little bit wider and cover hole number four too. And then we're just gonna draw again and say do. So the whole thing sounds like this. Now maybe today is not your first day playing the harmonica and maybe you've already checked out say like my video on how to play single notes for beginners. And if that's the case on the call and response section in the second half of the chorus, we can do that on the draw two and draw one. Now, if today's your first day, you can just stick with us on the chords. Let's try this out. There she was, just walking down the street, singing. Snapping her fingers and a shuffling her feet, singing. She looked good. She looked fine. Look good, look fine. the full tabs and all the jam tracks from this video, just go to the link below it. It's all available for free at harmonica.com. Back at the Chicken Shack was a song released by the great organ player Jimmy Smith in 1963. And we can play the first riff from this cool song on the harmonica, and it sounds pretty legit, right? But it's actually very simple to do. Let me show you how we're gonna do this. We're gonna start by playing the draw one, two, twice. You can use whatever kind of articulation you want to, but I use ka on these first two holes. Ka ka. It gives it a little bit more percussive attack to say ka ka. Then from there, we're gonna do draw two, three. Then blow three, four. Then draw three, four. So just that much, nice and slow. Ready, go. Okay, you with me? So the top note sounds like da, 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 da. That's kind of the melody we want to be hearing in the top note. Now we're going to stay right there and we're just going to blow on three and four. And then it ends with a draw on two and three. All right, let's try that nice and slowly together like this. Ready, go. Now for extra credit, when we get up to that draw three, four, if we wanna add a little bit more pizzazz, we can do what I refer to as a draw four, five trill. Some people call this a warble. It's probably most accurately described as a shake because we shake either the harmonica or our head or both to get this a sound. So here's hole number four. And here's hole number five. So we're shaking back and forth between those two. Today's your first day playing the harmonica. This is something that would probably be a bit too challenging, but it's something that you can grow into over time. And it sounds like this. So 
if you've been playing for a while, then go ahead and accept the challenge and try and throw in that draw four or five trail. But if today is your first day, just stick with rocking it how we just learned it before. Okay, you ready to jam it with the band? Let's do this. Ready, set, go. Our next riff is D D Hoodoo He. And I first encountered this riff from the great Ronnie Shellis, a wonderful harmonica player and teacher over at harmonica123.com. For those of you who are more advanced, I'll show you a couple riffs that you can play in between, but we're really gonna focus on this chordal riff, and then over time you can work on adding stuff in between. This riff is played on holes one, two, and three, and it's gonna start with an inhale, and we are going to say D D as we inhale. D D. Then we're going to breathe out and say hoodoo. And then we're going to breathe in and say he. So nice and slow, it sounds like this. Rest, rest, rest. Now we can do a variation on this. D, 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 who do he? Let's try that nice and slow like this. Ready, go. Rest, rest, rest. Now for those of you who are more advanced and you're playing single notes and stuff, I'm gonna show you just a couple licks that you can do in between these chords. A cool ascending riff would be basically going up the major pentatonic scale, but skipping the difficult draw three whole step bend, which sounds like this. And a cool descending riff would be just coming straight down the almost blues scale. Now, if you're good on single notes and you haven't learned the almost blues scale, you might wanna check out my lesson on it right here. It's a really good beginner scale to learn that'll get you on your way towards improvising. It just sounds like this, coming straight down from six, blow, draw five, draw four, blow four, draw three, and draw two. And then maybe we'll do a draw four or five shake after the third one. And then if you're more of a beginner, just keep playing the chords with us and just listen on the in-between parts. One, two, ready, go. Great job. Look at the train over there. The train imitation is one of the most fun riffs to play on the harmonica. And according to Joe Felisco, who you're hearing right here and is one of the foremost living experts on the harmonica, there's nothing that compares to the train riff for improving your technique. So not only are we gonna have a lot of fun, we're gonna sound cool, but this is also a great way that we're gonna build our technique and improve our skills on the harmonica. And there's basically two components to this. There's the train whistle, and then there's the chugging down the tracks. And to play the whistle, we're really just gonna draw on holes four and five. So let's find holes four and five. There's holes four and five. And then we're also gonna do the hand walk. The key to the hand walk is having an airtight chamber around the harmonica and then opening up. Here's one way that you can think about doing it. Making a C shape with your hand here like this and the fingers are extending past the thumb. Putting the harmonica in there against the webbing right here. Knife edge like you karate chop, the knife edge of your palms together. Raising up the other hand one digit here. The, this is gonna fold and then this is gonna fold on top. That's one way of doing it. But really any which way that you can get an airtight chamber on the harmonica. Now the other key to getting a really good whistle is if you can bend into it a little bit. How you might experiment with that is by saying dwa or kia. So we could try dwa, 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 dwa. 
or we could try kya 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 and the train whistle can be dirty meaning it doesn't have to be exactly on holes number four and five there can be a little bit of three in there here's draw four and five if i let some three in there I think that sounds like a train whistle too. So it's just an approximation. This doesn't have to be like an exact science, which is kind of nice. Now for the actual train chugging down the tracks, there's a lot of different variations on this and they're all really fun. But probably the most popular one is to say taka on the inhale and tucka on the exhale. Taka, 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 taka. <laughs> And then with the hand wall, we can do open on the taka and closed on the tuka. And then as the train pulls out of the station, it starts slow and it speeds up and goes faster and faster. So. And then when we're doing the chugging groove, after we've been doing it for a while, if you're feeling like your lungs are filling up too much with air too, then you need to outgas, which just means when you're blowing on the tuka, push air out of your nose at the same time. And that's how you can expel air out of your lungs and keep things equalized. All right, let's try this with the band. Here we go. So we're gonna blow all the air out of our lungs and do the whistle. If you need to do a quick exhale, One more whistle. By the way, if you're enjoying this lesson, you might want to check out my beginner to boss course. I have several lessons throughout the course of the course devoted to the train. Thousands of people who thought they were musically hopeless are finding that they can actually shred some harmonica. Come on over, check it out, and join them at harmonica.com. And for our final riff, we are going to learn You Gotta Move. You Gotta Move is an African-American spiritual that was popularized in the 60s by Fred McDowell and then further popularized by the Rolling Stones. The Rolling Stones version was my first contact with the song. And coming full circle all the way back to the beginning of our video, here's our good friend Paul Jones again, just playing a killer version of this song. Now we're gonna play a simplified version of what he's doing here, obviously. But that's the cool thing about this video. All of these riffs are riffs that can grow with you over time as you gain more skills and improve your technique. You Here's a nice, easy version of You Gotta Move. We're gonna start on the draw one and two. Draw two, three. Then blow three, four. And then draw three, four. So all together, it sounds like this. Now the second line is gonna be all draws. So just like we were talking about in the last riff with the train imitation, we're gonna have to do some lung pressure equalizing here. And how we can do that is on that first riff when we're playing the blow three, four, we can do an out gas, pushing air out of our nose, also referred to as a nose push. Or we could do a quick exhale after the first line so that we could get ready for the second line, which is gonna be all draws. Starting on draw three, four, two times. <laughs> then draw two, three. <laughs> draw one, two and back to draw two, three. You gotta move. I'm taking my lips off of the harmonica in order to tell you what hole to play next. But when you're actually playing this, the harmonica should just slide inside of your lips. If you're a beginner on the harmonica and you haven't checked out my video on the deep relaxed mouth position, I highly recommend you go check that out real quick and then come back and work on this video. So the second line, we are going to play the draw three, four, four times in a row, and then we're gonna blow on the three, four. be really cool to bend into each one of these and we can try and get some kind of articulation or tonal flavoring towards that by saying dwa or kya dwa 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 <sighs> or kya 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 
our next line is draw three, four, two times on the draw two, three, and then once on the draw one, two. And you could probably hear I was doing kia or dwa on the draw two threes there as well. Hand wall will help with all of these articulations as well. Now we're gonna play the draw one. Even if you don't know how to isolate notes yet, you can still play the draw one because you just play the draw one two and then move to the left until all you hear is the draw one. Then we're gonna go from the draw one to the blow one two. Then stay right there and draw on the one, two. And then ending on the draw, two, three. So that line. That gets answered by doing it in reverse, playing the draw, two, three. Draw one, two. Blow one, two. And draw one. And then we're just gonna end two times on the draw, one, two. Blow one, two. And draw one, two. You gotta move. You gotta move. You gotta move, child. You gotta move. Oh, when the Lord gets ready you gotta move that's some pretty legit riffing for a beginner you ready to try it out with the band let's do this ready go Have you already seen five stupidly simple harmonica grooves yet? Check it out right here. 